All right, we got to do Jacktober. People are mad. Jack, they get mad. They, they, yeah, they the want people that we want. feature, <laughs> they're very angry. Yesterday, wow, what a success that was, huh? Yeah. Any updates from yesterday's show? Is their page back up? Uh, I'll check if their page is back oh. up. That was great. That was a great kickoff to Jacktober. Today we go to Syracuse. <laughs> yes, we go to Syracuse for myself and Amy Schummer. It's oh, Amy Schummer. Uh, no, it's it is Ted. And Amy. And Amy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they're on in Syracuse at 93Q. Yes. I love it. What they kind of station is 93Q? It's like, uh, it's. I mean, it's number one hit music, but it's ah, adult How are they the number oriented. one hit music station? Well, they, yeah, I mean, they, it's if not you, even. If you've narrowed down the demo, I'm sure right. they have somewhere that they're number one. What, there's a hit music station that just plays the number twos? <laughs> <laughs> number fuck? one, a hit music I station. Hate radio slogans. Uh, they never make sense. God, I was in that world for way too long. Plus, what, what does that mean, the number one hit music station? They're not even the number one hit music station in Syracuse. Oh, so, man. I don't know why it says that. There's, well, there should be the um, the radio slogan police, and they come in and go, "Look, you're not number one, in even the Syracuse, radio so slogan you police." You can't, you can't use that. One. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use that. You're not one. allowed. You're not allowed. So uh, Ted and Amy, they look like an older couple. Are they married, or are they uh, one of those radio teams where they make believe they're sort of married? Uh, it's like a, a work husband and wife. Oh, so they're not really husband mm, and wife, no. but they play one on the radio. It seems that way. Yeah, Ted Lang. Long, I think. That's what that says. Long. Well, it's weird font. Oh yeah. If I move closer, it's Ted Long. Okay. Ted Long. I feel like a Ted Lang. And Amy Robbins. And I think they've been in Syracuse for a long time. I kind of remember them when I was there. Oh, you do. And when uh, doing yeah, your stint. It's very adult oriented. Uh, number one it? hit music. What? It's kind of like adult contemporary type of uh, AC. Yeah. We call that AC. Oh. But they're playing hit music? But they're playing, like, Katy Perry and stuff. But they're right. obviously not at all relating to anybody who has any youth. They look like they're pushing about 60. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what? Even, that's not... <laughs> even Amy in her highlights? Let me see. Amy oh, God, highlights. look at her... Oh, God. She looks like E-Rock coming back from oh, vacation. Oh, my God, look at that face. And you know that's the best picture she took. Yes. Of course. Well, she has a bit of a big forehead. Like an elongated wow. forehead. Yeah. A uh, bit. Spiky hairdo. That smile isn't very warm. She looks like a lizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's got like a lizard face. Now, guys. All right, today. Uh, oh, no. Is her bio good? Do you want to learn about her oh, a little bit? No, oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Do you know what her friends call her? What? I know I know what I would call her if I was her friend. <laughs> <laughs> they call her the Aimster. Ooh, no. Whoa. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Someone's going to have a problem with that. Aimless, some of them. Yeah. Amy, aimless. The aimster? The aimster. As in the opster? As in the opster. Son ripping of you off. off. Bitch. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Favorite food? I love any kind of soup. Ew. Wow, <laughs> how fucking. Uh, who loves soup? What a bland I mean, person. I, you know what? Every once in a while, I'll enjoy a bowl of soup, but I would never put it on my body. No, it's not even my. It's, it's not even my favorite <laughs> hot liquid food no. in a bowl. A soup isn't even considered a meal. Oh, look at the lotto thing. Got Wait, a Mendy. First thing you do if you win the lottery: pay off all my bills and build a greenhouse. <laughs> The house that's green would envy. Oh, that's very good, Chip. Thanks. And then launch Stop yourself it. through the roof like Tony Rocky Hara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. Best on-air experience? Uh-oh. It's got to be creating Amy's Slumber Party, which now draws 1,900 women for two sold-out nights every February. It's probably the, been my most successful event ever. She has a slumber party? Amy's yeah. slumber party. And how many people show 900 up? 900 over two days. Great. What do they do? Oh, they sleep and girl talk. Do they right? eat box? Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot of box it. eating, you think? They sit there sweating from their menopausal hot flashes. <laughs> I think there's box eating. Box Oof. eating. Yeah. Box. They wear their special PJs. Watch oh, out. Where's guilty that? pleasure. Oops, there's a hole in my PJs. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Real Housewives of Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. That means she can't pick a Real Housewives uh, that she likes? Uh, yeah, I well, personally like the New Jersey Housewives. That's your preference? Yeah, they're all fucked up. And in this sentence is the hole. 
Okay. Oh, Expression okay. you use the most. <clears throat> Give me some that's coffee, a, sir. Please. That's enough, Ted. No. That's the expression she uses the most. No. That's enough, Ted. Wow. Man, people just don't get the That's whole enough, thing. Ted. That's enough, Ted. The fake outrage, like you might be going a little too far. Oh, that's enough, Ted. Uh. And, unless, unless Ted is a giant cock <laughs> and he likes to fuck her bottom <laughs> and he goes, you want more? And she, and she says... That's enough, Ted. That just goes to show our differences. I was thinking when it just hits her cervix, like that's enough, Ted. But you went right for the ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. But I hope that's why she uses it. Oh yeah, that's enough, Ted. Yeah. Why, why pulls his dick come out at like her a, during the show? <laughs> pulls his dick out like a fucking oil dipstick. <laughs> sees how much, how far up the shaft the shit is. <laughs> You're about a quart low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why aren't you reading the most embarrassing moment? Oh, I don't know. Where is or, it? Or uh, the best time of year. I mean, these are all terrific answers. Oh, wow. Yeah, most embarrassing moment is embarrassing. It's crazy. It, it's Where is not that? good. Um, when I asked one of our listeners if it was her daughter that was with her, and it was actually her sister, her twin sister. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yes. boy. Oh, boy. Best time of the year for you? Best time. I love spring. Such a good feeling when you have all that nice weather still to come. Ugh. Uh, That's geez. enough, Ted. That's enough, Ted. Uh, she loves powdered peanut butter. What's powdered what peanut butter? What is that? I curse the day I was introduced to this because now I can't live without it. Oh. Greek yogurt and powdered peanut butter. Uh, Greek yogurt. All right. All right. Of course. <laughs> you know, throat yogurt. Out of an you know ass. what, though? Now I got to oh. try the powdered uh, peanut butter. You going to give it a try? It's Dude. easier to sprinkle on your pussy. <laughs> let your dog fucking lick it off. By the way, here's weirdest job related experience. <laughs> when some guy followed me into a woman's restroom to get my autograph. No, he followed you in there to rape you. When he realized there was somebody else, he pulled out a pen. Hey, sign this. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Anything else there? No. That's about it. So why don't we get into their show? I like that you're going to try the powdered peanut butter because the Amster recommended it. Yeah. I never, yeah. I never, I never knew you could do. That's such a enough, thing. Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's Jacktober show number two. Ted and Amy on 93Q in Syracuse. Let's take a listen. All right. <laughs> Too early to be wide awake? Come on, you're getting up at like quarter after three these days. I think of you when I get up and I think, boy, Ted has turned over a new yeah, leaf. I know, I'm, I do it's get up, up early. early. Although I don't think I have an incentive to anymore. Have you heard the big news? Uh, you know, don't even start with me. What is the... Oh, my God! <laughs> ah, why? Is this ah. on the radio? Yeah. Horrendous. Did don't you... even start with me. Imagine having to live with that. Is that his wife or no? It no, sounds it's like it. No, no. It's, it's, you know, in radio, some of these guys have two wives, their actual wife, and then they got another, like, fucking right. radio wife. Did you so they miss... got to deal with that shit twice. Did you miss the oh, cleverness God. of how they came into that break? You understand that song was called Wide Awake, don't oh. you? Oh, and he was yawning, like, no, I'm not wide awake, though. Oh, I'm not. I didn't not. catch that. That's right, and then Amy even had the smarts to say, what, is it too early for you to be wide awake? Whoa. I get it. I like when a jock uh, sneaks the title of the song into what they're uh, talking you like about. That. I kind of like That's it. That's your thing. Kind of yeah. nice. Oh, boy. I don't think I have an incentive to anymore. Have you heard the big news? Uh, you know, don't even start with me. What is the deal that this global shortage of bacon made all the headlines yesterday? There's apparently... Is wow, is she reading that? What kind of segue is that? <laughs> but what a terrible thing to think about, much less talk about. Oh, oh. Like a party rock sitting there wincing, waiting for the joke. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's just crushed by that news. <laughs> you rock, you heard there was a bacon shortage? I saw this story days ago. I'm like, there's no reason to bring this up on our show. Right. Who cares? Every, every it's, time. It's perfect for a morning zoo type show. Yeah. When you heard there was a bacon shortage, did you get nervous whenever you saw someone with a knife? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God damn it. This is... Uh... It's weird. I don't know what they're into, but this is Ted and Amy's Facebook page. This oh, is what their no. listeners are posting. Why is the horse up another? Uh, a, a, a My plastic... Little Pony up a horse's ass. A horse's ass. <laughs> Gross. Oh, I don't know what these. There's... Oh, oh, that's just a picture God. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these guys do with just their listeners. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Oh, that's gross. Uh, All right, gosh. let's find out about the bacon shortage. Is, is the deal that this... Global shortage of bacon made all the headlines yesterday. There's apparently is it a shortage really that of, big of a deal. Well, if you're a bacon lover, <laughs> oh yeah, my it is. God. What's the, even the reason to get up in the morning? Oh, if they're you don't covering have bacon. it. I mean, everywhere from you know Today Show to MSN to all this kind of stuff. The global, which the global bacon shortage also means a global ham shortage, all global right. pork shortage uh, uh, as well. Is there a global pig shortage? No. What's the well, problem? here's the deal. No, you're it's working It's all with one. because of the drought. It's all. <laughs> because the world didn't get as much water as they normally do. And so that has been raising So we got to pay the price. I blame all the There's state fairs be. that put bacon on everything. Oh, I know. Bacon was re- so big, Sticking that chocolate bacon covered bacon. Cream now. I mean, again, I, I, you know, I'm a BLT lover from way back. But I just, <laughs> it, makes, it makes you want to scream. You know who smiles and you know who looks at the, the radio and smiles and nods while yeah, she's knitting to the this? Co- the competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is like something Gene Lundergaard would love <laughs> when she's watching that dumb show, Good Morning Fucking Brainerd or whatever it was. And she's like knitting and, and smiling at their dumb banter. That's who likes this. Wow. Gene Lundergaard. Wow. Yeah, but you stopped halfway. That's not cool. You, they weren't done making their point about the bacon. Oh, okay, fair enough. They, because she, ugh. I can't. Well, you don't. You uh, have to relate to the listeners because when you first hear there's a bacon <laughs> shortage, yeah. At first you'll go, ah, big deal. But then when they start relating it to all the different ways you oh, one might eat bacon, you start right. to think, oh, this really does. We're affect all affected. Me. Yeah, and that's yeah, exactly we're all right. Affected by Obster. the bacon uh, shortage. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Obster right now. My bad. Oh. Chocolate bacon covered and ice bacon. Cream now. I mean, again, I, I you know I'm a BLT lover from way back, but I just could not believe that everywhere I turned to yesterday, this was in the top three headlines. Mm-hmm. Really, a global bacon shortage. Bacon shortage. So I guess yeah, they're cutting down on the pigs, which means we're cutting down on all the pork. And who's laughing now? Huh? Because not everything I eat uh. is turkey. Well, that's true. Turkey ham, there's, turkey bacon. There's an overabundance of turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. Uh, I don't have to go anywhere, because guess what? I'm already there. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not happy with this news. Women have no business being on the radio. And why did Na- you get Na- so excited? Na- <laughs> he was mad. I, I, yes. You know how they do the whole female comic thing? I'm, we're way past that. There's a lot of fucking funny female comics. Prove to me there's a good fucking female radio host. Yeah. Oh, Holy, holy shit. Man, you're right. That Prove to me. was angering. Yeah, I mean, Ted Anger was all pissed. It. Ted had a lap bend. Yeah, he's, he's, his really? whole thing has been, uh, you know, losing weight. Oh, well, good for him. They have, by yeah. the way. Ditch yes. his sidekick. See, because <laughs> she was. Yeah, he would lose, what, yeah, right. about 180, it looks yeah. like. We've played one clip from the show. Mm-hmm. And we've passed phase one where the uh, public posting is no longer allowed on their Facebook. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. No. Wow, that was fast. Because we gave their name. We gave them too much time. Yeah. Because then we got distracted and did other things. Oh, no. Tomorrow, we, if we give the name, we got to go right for uh. it. As a matter of fact, uh, Paul Hargis has already commented on one of their photos. Oh. Phase two, bitches. <laughs> 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 Phase two. Bitches, that's great. Uh, great. Boy. You want more from Ted and Amy? Yeah, I'm enjoying them. Yeah. 93Q in Syracuse. The this... number one hit music station. I think I could do that for a living. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think I about... I do radio slogans for a living. What I do you think? think about bacon? What do you mean? Yeah. Give us a little bacon break. Yeah. No, no. I just do what? the... I just do the... Oh. I'm just the voice of the station. No, you got it. You got it. Nope. Oh. oh nope. Come on now. Come on. The Opster did a bacon video. Is that right? What? Mm-hmm. The Bacon oh, Sunday right. video is yes, doing pretty yes. good. That's enough, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's time to play. To line them up. Yes. And guess what? Guess what? It's got a blank theme. Oh. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Oh, wow. oh, really? I'm confused. Yeah, she... Uh... They, they, they're going to go with the bacon thing a little longer. Oh, God. <laughs> Amy <laughs> tried well, to It was working it. well. Yeah, we know. It? Yeah. We know better than anyone. If something's working, you go you with it. You stick with it. That's you keep true. Keep going. Yeah. And you tell yeah, hammer the point home. <laughs> you tell me after listening to this if the bacon theme was worth the stretch it took to make this work. Oh no. Also, so far it's good. Also you people it. are one guy's pointing out Chris in Tampa repeating the joke ant is in full effect today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it. I just did it. 
<laughs> did you? Yeah, just before. I Why would you tell people what your crutch is? I realize what I did, because that's the best way to break it, because now I'm conscious of it, so I try not to do it. Yeah. Bear with me, people. Bear I've with wanted me. to say Hal four times today. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I have, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've wanted yeah. to four times. It's very times. hard to break the habit, so I'm, I'm trying. I'm actually biting my own fucking, fucking lip to, to yeah, stop yeah. that one. Because the people demand it. <laughs> <laughs> they demand the opster stop saying howling. <laughs> opster. See, I just did it. The opster. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, line them up bit they do up there in Syracuse on the Ted and Amy show. Hey. Oh, beautiful time of year to drive out the Crits Farm. I know. We were just yeah. discussing. We got to go leaf peeping before yeah. it's too too late. Better you know? do it quick. All right, that's uh, what you're playing for, Caller 10. You need to line these three things up in this order. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I got. I was going to go with a ham theme. Oh, with and the then, whole bacon because shortage. Because with the bacon shortage. Yeah. And then I just, I couldn't find anything that was a ham theme. So I thought of Green Eggs and Ham. Okay. The Dr. Seuss book. All right. You got to follow me on lining up these Dr. Seuss books in chronological order. All right. Like which, when they were written. Which came <laughs> earliest, which came latest? Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham. Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. And the Lorax. The Lorax. <laughs> which came first? 421-9393. Line it up. You win next with 93Q. 93. My favorite. Ooh, the fuck cares? My favorite book was Horton Hears a Terrible Radio Show. <laughs> <laughs> Horton Hears a Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Dr. Seuss pretty much write all these books at the exact same time? Yeah. It like, seems who like would it. care when they, the first book was written? Yeah. That Dr. Could, Seuss, uh, he was actually partners with Mengele. <laughs> And then they, they went different directions. I want to write children's book. Well, I want to get two of each and torture them. All right, take care. <laughs> I'm reading a lot of children's books these days. I fucking hate Dr. Seuss. They're stupid. You're just They're mad. They're stupid books. You're mad because you don't know which one was written first. I don't give a and fuck. And you're not going to get to go leaf peeping. Dr. Steve Seuss. Yeah. I would not eat that tumescent boner. <laughs> I would not eat it. Uh, yeah. Steve, I am. I, yeah, uh, uh, green eggs and wine. <laughs> Green, egg, green, green wine and ham. I would not drain that fluid on a boat. <laughs> yeah. I would not drain that fluid in a moat. Yeah, I would not drain that viscous fluid. I'm a man, not a druid. <laughs> <laughs> I will not search inside your colon, but I will gladly take you both bowling. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> I smell bit. Sam, uh, I am. Put your dick in my can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too messing. <laughs> too messing. Flood. Do we find the answer uh, uh, to line them up? Well, you're anxious for it, aren't you? Yes. By the way, people are leaving uh, Terry Clifford related comments on their Facebook page. Ooh. What do you mean? You know, Terry Clifford. From the B Morning Coffee Club, <laughs> who has Ooh. yet to be featured this year. What oh. are they saying to these people? Well, did you ever see Baby Adolf? The picture? Oh, yeah. It's adorable. You've seen it? Yeah. It was one of the, I suppose it's one of the greatest uh, fake pictures ever. Yeah? Yeah, I was on a website yesterday. They were talking about all these fake pictures, photoshops, mm. from way, way back in the day. The day. And, like, one guy was just um, standing there, and then they had hands behind him, but nothing else. So the, supposedly that was a ghost holding this person, and uh -oh. everyone bought into it. You know, way back yeah. in the day. Yeah. But they also had Baby Adolf. Baby Hitler is great. Or Baby Hitler. Yeah. And a lot of people swore that was Hitler's kid. But it's so obvious it's not even <laughs> Come on. Could possible. Could you just fucking Google image uh, baby Adolf? Oh, it's so... Or it, baby it'll, Hitler. It'll pop right up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I I've never seen one. this one. Oh, really? I'm behind adorable. on this one. Oh, it's yeah. adorable. Look at it. <laughs> no, that's not the one, though. Oh, that's the famous one. That's the one. Nope. Really? This is, this is uh, something they actually put out there in the day. That one? Nope. Oh, he's adorable. Those are the ones, though, with the yeah. little... I mean, I'll show you the one I saw. I'll show you during the break. I'm, I don't know. Lindbergh, we got to get to the answer of uh, line them up. ironic. Here's Ted and Amy. It's uh, Jocktober, everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Let's do this. Uh, they open the wall. Ted and Amy. Ted and Amy in the morning. Uh -huh. 627 with Ted and Amy. We have Pam on the line. I'll set to line it up. How you doing, Pam? Good morning. Good, how are you? I'm doing uh, well. I thought I'm Pam's name was Sam, and I thought that, isn't Sam I am? Isn't that like part of a Dr. Seuss That's thing? part of I thought, Green Eggs and Ham. I thought that was going to be very appropriate. No, her name is Pam. You let me down, Pam. Can I call you Sam? My daughter's Sam. Well, well, there you go. Her daughter is Sam. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Pam, line up these Dr. Seuss books in chronolo- chronological order, earliest to latest. Green Eggs and Ham, Cat in the Hat, and the Lorax. Cat in the Hat, Green Eggs and Ham, and Lorax. Good job, right. Pam. Cat in the Hat, 1957. Green Eggs and Ham, 1960. And the Lorax, back in 1971. Love all of them. Hey, Pam, we have the we uh, season pass for you them. for Crits Farms out in Casanova. You and your lovely daughter, Sam, can enjoy all the fall fun out at Crits Farms, okay? Uh, okay. What is oh, okay. what does leafing mean? What do you what's that leaf mean? peeping? What is leaf peeping? Is that when you shit in a field <laughs> just... and you wipe your hiney with a different leaf? <laughs> I want a mint one, please. I've been known to do that. Leaf uh, peep? Yeah, you drive up into a nice little fucking country area and check out mm. the leaves changing. This maybe have some uh, hot apples. Hot apple cider. Oh, Ew, how wow. about fucking maybe ride a ski lift or two? Girls' uh, restroom maybe go through peeping. a corn maze. <laughs> that sounds horrid. Yeah. And then there's a bonfire if you're staying overnight. Like leaf peeping. I want bush peeping. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that show is is beyond terrible. Like Ted that is Amy everything. Show? That whole break from it's that not... beginning, that that Ted and Amy, that yeah. whole thing, how we popped right in at the perfect time it's with not, the time. It's not terrible. It's very polished, oh. it, but it's more who gives a fuck. Who cares? Right. It's who, who cares, cares radio that. more than terrible. And then the woman with, that's winning the contest, like she has no clue what to do. Can the hat? Why can I go Lorax? Yeah, there's all these big sound effects and everything. They're like, you won, okay? And she goes, yeah. Okay. Okay. She didn't win anything. She's going to need leaf peeps. She could leaf peep. She, she could, could go on, on your own. own. Yeah, what the fuck? What is she saving? The $5 fucking parking fee? Yep. Somebody wrote, that's enough, <laughs> Ted, over oh. and over and over <laughs> and enough. over <laughs> under one of their pictures oh. that they posted. Well, why don't we do this? Are we people being it. nice on the Facebook page? Um... <laughs> Ted and Amy. <laughs> Somebody is obsessed with this. He's writing, you know what would make this work better? More bacon. <laughs> and then he's shouting, I need more bacon. Oh, <laughs> um, Want to do one more clip? That's enough, HIV, please. AIDS, yeah. herpes, syphilis, repeated <laughs> over and over again. Uh, fuck you a bunch of times. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, this is unkind. And here's a picture of some guy with his baby, which was Uh-oh. a mistake. It's uh, not good. Uncle no. Paul keeps commenting. Uh, <laughs> of course, Uncle Paul. What's he saying? Yeah. Uh, Paul. Yay. <laughs> sure, you do shaka shaka. Let's play turkey foot. <laughs> shaka shaka. <laughs> All the good ones are taken. Yes. Lucky fella. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. This. Oh, he wrote some other stuff, too. Uh, Jerry Shepardini chiming in. Oh, yeah. God. Hey there, fellas. Little game of hot potato with this one little tootsie. Yeah, it's a lot of pedophile jokes. <laughs> oh, boy. Chipper. <laughs> you, you want another clip from this yes. show? Desperately. All right. Uh, Sam writes here. I wonder if the news story came from Prep Burger. Yeah, you remember some uh-huh. of the... Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Mm-hmm. People getting their news stories from Prep Burger. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the news stories at all that were covered in the show we were listening to yesterday? No, I forgot that show. I you, couldn't even tell you the name of it at this you, point. You tell it was uh, the bullpen. Oh, right. And their, uh, I'll tell you. And their audience is called the herd. That's right. Let's see. Now, just listen. And they feed your need for rock. That's exactly oh, right, right. right. See, I remember yeah, some yeah, stuff. Yeah. Just listen to a little bit of this, and you tell me if you've heard this news story before somewhere. Oh right? God, no. Tell me. Oh no. Oh God, no. Scientists in Korea have discovered the secret to a longer life for men. Ooh. What is it? What is it? Who can guess? Who can guess what it is? Go on. Who can guess? Let's play a game. Who can guess? Holy fuck. Ooh, the ooh, the Obster ooh, had his ooh, hand up first. Ooh. Uh-oh. I had it too, though. He, he had his hand up first. Oh, man. Opening. Opening a wine bottle? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the secret to a longer life for men? Yes. yes. Opening a wine bottle? No. Wrong break. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Shit. Cutting off your penis and balls. The Giggleberries got it. The yeah. Twig and Giggleberries. Oh, oh nice. I went with the other fucking See? Red burger. Oh, I'm bit. sure they'll get <laughs> yeah, to that eventually. Damn it. What fuck? We are exposing the hackedness. Yeah. And this was all. These good. companies are paying these morning shows, you know, decent money to, yeah. to just fucking go on a prep burger service and, and do the jokes that someone else is writing. This terrible. Is, or picking the. It's terrible. Know, or they're basically oh. picking their content for the entire morning. I'm, I'm listening to shows like this every single day. and But how hard is it? 
you know, I know a lot of these shows aren't on the level of, of us. Oh, please. But how hard is it to sit there in a dumb fucking city like Syracuse? No offense, because I do like Syracuse, but I'm saying dumb. It's a dumb city. And then you look through your paper and you fucking, you know, yeah, read the but, news and, and come up with shit. Or just yeah. joke naturally. Just talk right. and chat. Right. Why do you have to go to some kind of dumb service oh, for, for some who gives a fuck story that might be slightly edgy? And this isn't like hunting. I, yeah. I listened to Ted and Amy in its entirety the day after I listened to the bullpen. And when you heard this, did you go, oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, oh, no. It's gold. Uh, I, I like to hear their take on the story, though. Maybe <laughs> yeah, they okay. give it a unique twist. It's all about the spin. Uh, exactly. DJ Wedge 73, one of the regulars on my Twitter, writes, Ted and Amy, line these things up. Gasoline, a match, your house. <laughs> oh, Do we have a prep burger uh, subscription yet? Not yet. We, like, we got to get one. Immediately. We oh, will. my God. Yeah, tell the radio wizard we need that. Uh, 93Q Chipitis says, feeds my need for shitty garbage. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Scientists in Korea have discovered the secret to a longer oh. life for men. Ooh, okay. That's Can we guess what her reaction is going to be? Oh, Just to yeah. twist this a little bit? Yeah, uh, twist it up. Because they're going to come up with the answer that is, it's uh, cutting off your fucking uh, testicles, I guess. Or, right? She's going to be... the whole fucking package. Um, the twig and giggleberry. She's going to be very offended by this. She's going to be like... She might go with the fucking catchphrase. What was that phrase again? That's enough? That's enough. Uh, that's enough, that's enough Ted. Ted. Could we possibly be hearing that's enough, oh, Ted, from Amy right now? Because this is a little edgy. This could get a little I crazy. Wish. And she knows what her job is. Yeah. The good news. Isn't this Korea where they're wearing man makeup now? South Korea? South Korea, but that is not That's what not the has to, to do with, no. Okay. That's the good news. The bad news is yes. it's castration. Ah, seriously? They found the male sex hormones are responsible for shortening a man's oh, life. I gotta hear that again. And they say... I got to hear ah seriously, oh, seriously again. These guys are lazy. They didn't ah. even like, they got this big story. The other yeah. show played with it a little bit and got the phones. You want to get Twigs the, and some phone action. Right. They just said, fuck it. Let's well, just Well, they got the story. phone action on the fucking... Line them uh, up. You're right. Line them right. up. So, You're right. you know, You're you, don't right. Steal. you don't want to pound that into the ground. Ah, seriously. Ah, ah, seriously. I mean, seriously. Ah, seriously. Ah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, keep it local. <laughs> Ah, seriously! They found the male Please, sex can we hormones. Have that as I a really fucking want sound that. Clip. Yeah, yeah, that is a good one to have. <laughs> I guess the intern just brought in a salad. <laughs> <laughs> it has to do with no. Okay, that's the good news. The bad news is, yes, it's comes castration. Salad. Ah, seriously! <laughs> they found the male sex hormones are responsible for shortening a man's life, and they say if you don't have those, you can live an oh. average of 14 to 19 years longer. Are you kidding me? Would you want to? No. I'm not sure. But uh, I just thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think I'd rather die early uh, yeah. if I had my druthers. Right. Although I'd probably have a lovely singing voice. And and you wonder who oh. volunteered for that research. Yeah, really. 14 to 19 years ago. Hey, uh, hey Not Bob, quite you're sure. castrated. Let me do a little study on you. Yikes. Oh, yeah, of course. Yikes is, uh, you summed it up with yeah. a yikes, yes. Well, what? if I had Madruthers. Madruthers. What's that? I've never heard that for balls and... and we, Madruthers, or no, no, no. If I had Madruthers... What? I think is my way. My is, way. I, yeah, my, like oh, if I got to I choose. A, uh, like a little, little, yeah, like for balls. Yeah, a little Like, nickname. oh, I, I kicked know. him in the druthers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the, op it's 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 the opposite way. of Dristas. <laughs> What's that? Brothers. Oh, oh. sisters and brothers. Oh, boy. <laughs> Double siblings, bitch. <laughs> and, and he took her thing to, when she said, who would volunteer for that? He took that to mean not who would volunteer to be castrated, but what castrated man who had previously been castrated right. for reasons unrelated. Would, he just took the humor it's out a, of an yeah, already yeah, humorless it's... joke. <laughs> I've, I've had it with these two already. Requests are coming in like crazy on their Facebook. Oh, I oh. guess they play music, too. Oh, nice. Uh, one person is asking them to play some anal cunt. <laughs> Hoping to hear that on 93Q in Syracuse today. That was anal cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to hear that one. Yeah, people, that seems to be offensive to those who work at the stations. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. One more before the break? Please. <laughs> Jeez. Swastikas are just... <laughs> oh, no. I don't know how you do that with a keyboard, but there's swastikas and music notes that say Jerry Shepardini next to it. <laughs> Jerry Shepardini. <laughs> Look, uh, before we rest October until a little later today. Yeah. Huh? 
We got to have the hole acting like a hole, don't we, guys? Oh, please. Please. Wow. It's part of the Jocktober festivities. What has she been doing? That's enough, Ted. Yeah. Oh, no. She really holds it up in this next clip. Oh, part. nice. Ted and Amy on 93Q in Syracuse. That's who we're focusing on today for Jocktober. Yeah. Mm. Check this out. I don't use my cruise control. Look. Even if I'm on a long trip, because it takes control of my car and it kind of freaks me out. Well, I'm not saying, you know, don't pay attention to what's going on, but it's very cool that you can get a car that could drive itself from point A to point B. <sighs> kind of like the piloting, the self-piloting or whatever they call it for the planes, yeah, right? Yeah, autopilot. Autopilot, there Although, we go. Although, I like this because this guy was from Cadillac. And knowing the average age of the majority of Cadillac owners, this might not be a bad thing. <laughs> Especially on senior day at the fair. All right. Imagine how much quicker we could get down to the fairgrounds if all the Cadillacs could drive themselves. Does that mean in terms of speed as well? I think so. I think so. (sighs) I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. And here's why she's so hateable. All right. All right. All right. Did you hear that? That's <sighs> what was was Ted going right. too far with that? Well, no. you know what? He was making way? fun of the elderly. Women oh, in radio, yes. fucking stink. He was yeah, making. Horrendous. She was sticking up for the elderly. Oh. All right. You know, and I bet she commits to it. She doesn't stop after eight minutes caring about people. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jimmy doesn't care about people very long. Yes, I do. I care about people for as long as I need to. Like who? Anybody who's in trouble. The elderly, for instance. Oh. I'm tired of them being uh, uh, beaten. I'm tired of them not getting their social security checks. I'm tired of their Medicare not coming through on time. I'm tired of their prescription medication being too expensive for them to afford. Yeah. I'm tired of them being forgotten and lonely and being, ah, fuck them. They're annoying. They talk too much. Die already. <laughs> <laughs> You're just tuning in. You might want to listen to the first uh, hour today. Christ. <laughs> fucking Jimmy. Uh, apathetic hero. Almost committing. Almost. superhero. Almost superhero. Uh, Boredom uh, is his kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to rest uh, Jocktober for a little bit. We're going to take a break. Do All a, right. Do a couple other things, oh. and then we're going to get back into Jocktober, because on the way from oh, the I Ted and Amy know. show. That's enough, Ted. On 93Q in Syracuse, they uh, play Morning Malarkey. <laughs> oh, I just, dude, literally, look. They play it a lot. Goosebumps. But they play it a lot. Morning yeah, I mean, Malarkey. Is on the way when we get back to Jocktober for today. Why you would keep... they say that? Malarkey didn't die. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show. Coming out like cold pork, I bet. Oh, my God. Uh, I just left the uh, Ted and Amy show in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a big chunk of it. Uh, we just it's like lava lamp filling coming out of me. <laughs> we got to talk about it. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a little uh, uh, rapper beef going on. We got to get into a that. A beef? Wow. Got to get into the gun control PSA thing. And then we're going to go oh, back boy. to Ted and Amy for Jocktober because yes. we've just been turned on to the... Slumber party video. There's a video of Amy's slumber party that, that she we has. mentioned a little while ago. Oh. And Oprah brought up the fact that there is 3,210 yeah, views of this video. So that's fucking viral. Uh, that's viral right there. Right there. there yeah, should yeah. be a lot more dislikes. <laughs> there will be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. oh, boy. Is that video going to have boy. a lot of red after we're done with it? <laughs> Ted and Amy time. Back to Jocktober. By the way, uh, Phase 3 and Phase 4 have been completed, Yeah, according to the listeners. Oh, boy. Is that true, Sam? Fast. Yeah, the the Facebook page is down. (laughs) The Facebook page is entirely down. We're two for two, by the way. Two for two. They no longer have an active Facebook page up right now. That's a shame. Can we make this official and do a... uh, Oh, boy. Is E-Rock in there? Oh, no. Or is he... Oh, hi, Yay! Yay! He was hiding behind uh, the Fox building. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you can we do a, a, a sweeper to bring everyone Ooh. back to Jocktober, please? Bananarama is looking Thank a little you. bruised. <laughs> is that Bananarama? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was Bananarama. Was that really Bananarama? Yeah. Is that one person? Stop the sweeper. One person or two Bananarama? Uh, t- there were two girls that were. I think Bananarama was three, but they just showed I two girls. I think they girls. lost one. I think one died. Oh, no way. I think so, yeah. Really? Where'd you see him? If I know my music news. I liked the. Dark haired girl and I learned it from Kurt Loader. They walk by? Well, they were on the Fox though. Oh, okay. No, they're on they're the TV. Fox and Friends or they're something. In, they're in here too. Are they're they, they Banana Rama? Very sick. What's the matter, Jimmy? I don't know if they're queasy. Oh, no. Are you going to vomit? You're right. 
I think it's too much coffee and not enough food. Too much excitement last night. I know. Being too a crime much, fighter really for you. Oh, my much. God, right? He gets all... Pooped you out. <laughs> he gets all sick when my, he my whole, fights crime My whole system is minutes. thrown out of Oh, whack. Jimmy. Was it eight minutes? Yes, but it was a very high-stress <laughs> crime situation. Sip my, a little water. My system's out of whack. Let's sip some water I, I know there will be an animation for that one. There oh. has to be. Fucking <laughs> crime-fighting Jimmy. Oh, crime-fighting For Jimmy. eight minutes. But man, if you could Eight so, minutes. if you could hold out and, and get to nine minutes, Jimmy will be long gone. He will not be chasing you anymore. Ted and Amy in the morning. I guess we're not going to do a sweeper after all because we talked over oh, it, which is shit. fine. We're doing Jocktober. We're making fun of radio all mm-hmm. over the fucking place. Today it's Syracuse's turn, uh, and this Ted and Amy in the morning on the number one hit music station, ninety three Q. So, are you ready for the morning malarkey? Oh God, malarkey. Morning malarkey. What, what is the, the definition fuck? of malarkey? Which well, is like fun, you know. It's but it's it's good you, way of saying bullshit. I think. Whoa, that's man. malarkey. Oh, that's, a, say, bunch that's malarkey. a bunch of malarkey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was um, a character on uh, Band of Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that series. How about Dad Larky? Malarkey. Oh, that's malarkey not is funny. speech or writing designed to obscure, mislead, or impress. Nice. Oh. Uh, uh, synonym, Fan fiction. Uh, bunkum. Bunkum. Yeah. If I had my druthers, no malarkey would ever be used. It's pure bunkum. Oh, callback. That's a good one. Hey, uh, time to play Morning Malarkey with uh, Ted and Amy. A great prize is up for grabs. And guess what? You might hear an impression in here. Oh. And wait till you hear this prize, too. Is it a good prize? It's a nice prize. Yeah, radio has dropped off with uh, prizes, by the way. Oh, man. Oh, it used to be huge. Remember when radio used to give away, like, fucking cars Trips. and... Oh, my God. Now they're giving away fucking... Uh, you go see the leaves. Yeah. Right. It's 7-Eleven, Ted and Amy in the morning. Steven, Jeannie, Kim, that's who we have standing by, ready to play some malarkey for a great prize. All ready to win date night at Ichiban Japanese Steakhouse. Ichiban. This is good for any Wednesday night. Doesn't have to be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a weekend. What a shitty they can't gift. Even give away a free dinner for the weekend. At a ch- Ichiban on a fucking Wednesday night. <laughs> any Wednesday night. Gee, thanks, hey, my favorite Wednesday. radio show. After oh. 11 p.m. Jeez. Oh, First prize is you get to kick me in the cunt. Oh, let me see. Okay, there's a a Facebook page for 93Q, the station. Oh, Uh-oh. so and we're now at the station's uh, Facebook page? There's yeah, a right. picture of an older gentleman, nude, yes. uh, not very well endowed, but thick, yeah. uh, peeing into a coffee pot. There's a sign that says Jocktober pointing to him, and a sign that says Ted and Amy and pointing to the coffee pot that's being pissed at. <laughs> There's somebody oh. opening her vagina and asshole. Gaping. Sure. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. And oh, boy. Oh, the, the picture from the guy at the radio station who had a baby and took a picture with his baby. Yeah. There's a thing that says sex offender with it. Yes. <laughs> and we have nothing to do with this. No, because I don't. that's not true. Of course not. Yeah, we, we, that's absolutely we didn't do not anything. Who did that? People are out of control. Some fan whose name is Happy Jocktober. I guess it's a 93Q fan. I don't oh, know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course it I is. I don't know that person. Just a whatsoever. Oh, whatsoever. Right. We did not tell them to do that. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, am we, on record. Hey, uh, so let's do the malarkey thing. They're giving away, what, dinner for a Wednesday? Uh, well, that's a cool any thing. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, any Wednesday. Oh, Jesus. What's that say? Oh, my God. Is that a real picture? <laughs> I think it's Photoshop. Okay. Yeah. Don't even describe that one. Oh, it's terrible. Jesus. Oh, my God. These pictures are terrible. Wow, they're not, they're not holding back. This is <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Yeah, this is. They have weird <laughs> listeners. <laughs> she got a black eye. All right, listen, let's do this. It's seven eleven. Ted and Amy in the morning. Yeah. Stephen, Jeannie, Kim. That's who we have standing by, ready to play some malarkey for a great prize. All ready to win date night at Ichiban Japanese Steakhouse. Ichiban. This is good for any Wednesday night. Doesn't have to be tonight, but any oh. Wednesday night at Ichiban. And here's how it works. You know, malarkey. You got to figure out who's telling the truth, who's full of it. Good luck. Well, this celebrity has a new memoir. Oh, oh someone's got some pop tarts coming. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Kenny. My God. Kenny, yeah. The pop tart bringer. Yeah. Quickly! Thank you. What do you got there, Jimmy? I have a plain fat-free yogurt and blueberries because I'm eating better. Oh. What about the powdered peanut butter we learned about today? I, well, Kenny, I asked for it, and all of a sudden, Man. no, I didn't. I don't Kenny, know if we... can we find powdered peanut butter? Not today. Yeah. For down the road? Or if you can't find that, could you just wring out your ass hairs and hopefully some crusted doo-doos? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
Amy of Ted and Amy says it's delicious. Yeah, I wouldn't take a word anything. <laughs> but can we at least try it on our own? I wouldn't take a I, word anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck sentence structure that was. Exactly. Any? We need dried peanut butter. How did we, or powdered? <laughs> powdered peanut butter? Powdered, right. Let's find that. Let's find some. What is that? I don't uh, think so, GH. No? <laughs> oh, boy. Why? They got to sell it all nice and right. Oh, fuck. That'd be nice. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. Ted and Amy in the morning malarkey, finally. Whoa. Oh. Jesus. Why is there a picture of a guy holding a horse penis on that they Facebook page? They are really weirding some of the most horrible That's pictures. Terrible. They do have it's twisted just amazing. listeners. That's available. It's amazing when you look at what pictures are available. I know. Why wouldn't you now? suck it? <laughs> the horse? Yes, of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> We're in full ADD uh, radio mode. Yes. You know that. All right, let's focus because we got a big guest coming in. And we got to get this rock, uh, Jock, Rock, Jock. It's Jocktober. Jocktober, Jocktober over with. To be tonight, but any Wednesday night at Itchy Bon. And here's how it works. You know, Malarkey, you got to figure out who's telling the truth, who's full of it. Good oh. luck. Well, this celebrity has a new memoir coming out in November. Susan it's called Smith first. <laughs> Roll Me Up <laughs> and liar. Smoke Me When I Die. Roll me up and smoke me when I die. So who is What's that celebrity? On? I'm going to go with the former Snoop Dogg, current Snoop Lion. Oh, that's right. I'd forgotten Snoop Dogg changed his name. Yeah, because uh, he's Snoop all into the whole Lion. Rasta thing. I'm going to okay. say Snoop Dogg has right. got that coming out. I'm saying it's the Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Who is a little out there. He's pretty earthy. He oh. might be one to possibly come out with a book title. That Oh, wait a minute. The hotline is ringing. Oh, Ted and Amy, good morning. Maybe I didn't oh. love you. Is this Willie Nelson? Is this Willie Nelson? Is open. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, no, Chip. That's fucking great. You like it? Holy yeah. fuck. This show just gets better and better at being worse. You don't have to say, is this Willie now? Is this Willie now? Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Look. Sounds like Catherine Hepburn doing Willie Nelson. Well, that, oh, wait a minute, the hotline is ringing. Oh. Ted and Amy, good morning. Maybe I didn't oh, my. love you. Is this Willie Nelson? Is this Willie Nelson? Quite as often as I should have. Willie! <laughs> oh, Willie. Willie. Uh, we've really? Good morning, Ted and Amy. You've had a lot of arrests. Oh, you know, a lot of kids. Let's just On leave. the road again. Oh, okay, wait, 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 Was she saying that the kid, there are a lot of kids, like, listening? And that maybe she he shouldn't be Farting? doing pot jokes? Or I pot guess. That would be her let job. Me, let me hear that. How far wow. back was it? What a fucking hole. <laughs> what a hole she is. Ugh. A gaping hole. Oh, God. Now oh, the well, kids. Oh. It's Adam Sandler now. doing Willie Nelson, right? So they got uh, Adam Sandler on the may, hotline? Maybe yeah, I'm little Nicky. Oh, maybe I'm uh, the guy that plays the golf. Happy Gilmore. I think maybe. that's Willie uh, Nelson. Oh, no. It's not Willie Nelson. It's oh. me. Oh. I, I, oh, maybe I. Ugh. Jesus. Wow, one of the banana ramen broads is a beast. Yeah, she looks like a bulldog. Wow. Oh man, look the at the other one held one. up. No, well, she did, but she was so cute in the back in the banana rama days. Yeah, I would like to ram my banana in banana rama. Ah, she, she has a giant shiny forehead, which probably she she's does. That's probably why they wear the handkerchiefs on her head. Oh god, because she probably hated her giant Willie. shiny forehead her whole life. Willie, <laughs> it's not Willie. It's Maybe. not. Uh, Willie. <laughs> Oh, Willie. Really? Uh, we've really? Good morning, Ted and Amy. You've had a lot of arrests. Oh, you know, A lot of kids. Let's just On leave. the road again. Okay, okay Willie. I just can't wait to get out. Okay. Right. Oh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Willie, really? It's very early. Maybe you can answer our uh, malarkey for us. Some celebrity has come out with a memoir called Roll Me Up and Smoke Me When I Die. Who is join it? Join me at Farm Aid. <laughs> Did you say join me at Farm Aid? It's me, Willie Nelson. Oh, it's oh, you. Oh, my goodness. You All right. Crazy. Oh, right. I, I crazy. Still... Easy for the... <gasps> He's okay, got a Willie. great voice, but I... Thank... Oh. Scared Thank you, straight, Willie. I'm hoping. Uh, this fucking oh. guy is great. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah, Jim always likes these fucking Jocktober little comedic bits. That guy's uh, amazing. Wow. Yeah, I, I thought it was Willie Nelson on the phone. Well, it's not close Willie. your eyes. 
Oh, it's, it is. Was it? Yeah, because well, they said Willie Nelson's oh, yeah, on the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He he was like, oh, 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 the all the hotlines. You hear? I was like, oh, 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 he's throwing a little. Oh, 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 oh yeah, hotlines ring. Why didn't he do any pot jokes? Though I don't understand. Oh boy, I just hope a dog do doesn't walk in front of Willie Nelson and he Willie breaks Nelson character. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, Marlarkey isn't over, guys. No. It continues That's right. with Ted and Amy in Syracuse. All right. One of those, those is the Those that real heard one. that one. I say it's Snoop Dogg slash Snoop Lion. I say it's Matthew McConaughey. And Willie Nelson says it's him. Steven, you're caller 10. Who's coming out with a book called Roll Me Up and Smoke Me When I Die? Um, Willie. You, you think, think it's Willie? Willie Nelson? You think it right. is Willie Nelson. Jeannie, oh. you get to choose between me or Amy. Who's telling the truth? I'm going to go with you, Ted. You think I'm Snoop telling you to Snoop, Lion. Snoop Dogg slash Snoop Lion? Can you call it 12? Oh. Yul Brenner. <laughs> See, roll me up and smoke me. I'm dead. They only have one Same Wednesday gift something. certificate to give away. Yeah. And so. Could you at least bring somebody? Mm, I don't know. Probably not. They're giving away a Wednesday night. A Wednesday night. And <laughs> they only have the one. <laughs> the so Tapanaki. This stupid restaurant's like, look, you know. Yeah. Once you, the first person you can't have Friday or Saturday. Oh. But once the first person guesses who it obviously is, yeah. the other two have to guess it involves more of the listeners in one contest, even though they're only giving away one prize, right? Yeah, and so like now that the first guy picked Willie Nelson. Right. It's almost like you're the last guy picked for the sports team. So the third person on the phone has to just pick whoever nobody else picked. Default, yes. By default. Lion. Snoop Dogg slash Snoop Lion. Kim, you're caller 12. You get stuck with Amy's answer. You think Matthew McConaughey is coming out with that book? Sure. Well, he's cleaning up his act. He just recently married got married, married and all. Believe it or not, the truth teller today was me. You got it right off the bat, Stephen. Yeah. Willie. Oh. No, it was, it was Willie Nelson, actually, that was telling the all truth. Right, it's Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson was telling the truth. Steve <laughs> got it. Congratulations. <laughs> Itchy got Bond, it 50 bucks, you crazy <laughs> kid, all right? That's a lot of sushi, speaking of rolling <laughs> things up. <laughs> Stephen, you hang on the line. Uh-huh. You're a winner with 93Q, the no, number one not. hit music station. They gave away $50 for a Wednesday night. And he got his own bit wrong. Yeah, and he fucking yeah. got the bit wrong. He announced that he was the correct Jesus. answer when, in fact, it was Willie Nelson. Nah, of course it, it was. was. not him. I know it's not New York City, but 50 bucks with a date doesn't go fucking no, far. No. Well, maybe there it does. Maybe in Syracuse. I don't know. No, if you have a few wobbly pops. You know what first price should be? First, first, first price should be if all of a sudden your radio just blows up. <laughs> Breaking news. Oh, oh. Uh, the 93Q um, radio station uh, Facebook page is down. Why? That one, too? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's oh, confirmed. Man. Wow. I, I, <laughs> I wonder why that would happen. I don't know. <sighs> you know, Facebook. That's double points, though. I don't know. what's The, the deal is with Facebook. Uh, their site's going down. Hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's gone. Oh, man. It's too bad. 38 dead in a ferry crash in Hong Kong? You know, I heard something ah, about Hong Kong. They'll make more. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Apparently, King Kong right. went to Hong Kong oh. to play ping pong with his ding dong. Oh. I heard that. So that's uh, also breaking news. That's a fucking old rhyme, yeah. stupid. Oh, thanks, Chip. <laughs> Let it go, Chip. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, We're on our last clip. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, technically it's the last clip. Well, we could do bonus today. Bonus uh, Jocktober. Well, first we do have the slumber party video. Ah, uh, slumber party video. It depends on how you feel about the last clip. Did you look at the time length of the last clip? Oh, no. It's long. Yeah, it's long. Oh, good. What is it? Well, it's titled, How Long Can You Sit Through Amy's Story? <laughs> oh, no. It's an Amy story? Mm-hmm. Ugh, it's going to be bad. What's Just the story a, about? It's a slice of life anecdote. Ooh. Just like you know how you guys come in here and tell personal stories, I'll tell a personal story. Sure. Jim tells personal stories, you know, chasing the bus. Chasing the bus. Can I guess what it's about? Oh, sure. It's about the time that she had too many drinks and fell down the steps, and the the impact caused her to diarrhea shit into her pantyhose, and then it filled up her cunt, and she had to go to the hospital to have her cunt scooped out. <laughs> Because she was afraid of getting fecal matter in her cunt walls again. That's yeah. what I think it was about. 
Is Jimmy right? <laughs> is that? <laughs> is that? And she, but she split her close? head open. <laughs> He's off. Because <laughs> she was really. Uh, that's my guess. Is that her heel broke as she was going down the steps, and she was texting. She was texting a photo of her clit to the to the not white janitor, and then she fell and shattered pantyhose. It had liquid shit in her cunt. Shit. <laughs> and it went all the way down to her ankles. And she's fucking laying there laughing her balls off. Do you want to want to want to hear Amy's story? Let's see how right I was. Oh. And also, uh, <laughs> Doctor Steve, who I who I now uh, call Needy Steve, oh, is sending us now. powdered peanut butter. Oh, so really? We try it. Oh. Thank you, Doctor oh. Steve. Cool. Speaking of construction, yes. I met a last-minute merger in BJ's the other day. A last-minute merger? Which I know. Great. I mean, How do you know I, he was well, a last Well, because merger. I just know the Did attitude. Did he come up to you and say, hey? No. He oh, was a, a last-minute last minute merger, merger in the line of getting out of BJ's. So I know that. I've called, I've called when the... You're, you're cutting line, I guess. Or, or last-minute merger, like like you, you go up to the where the a lane is closed, and then you jump right in instead of uh, orderly... Getting into um, the line of yeah. uh, traffic. Don't you just call a guy an asshole? No. Yeah. Why is it a last minute merger? Because you're merging at the last minute. Is it is That's it part of their show lingo? Very upsetting. I bet yeah. you they talk about last minute mergers a lot. Yeah, and you don't want to say the a hole word that early in the morning. No, the children. Well, you know what it was in high school. Apparently, she would uh, she was known as a merger lover. <laughs> because she, she would always bed mergers, and her father said, "Don't ever bring no merger home." And don't ever have no merger, baby, because I won't hug it. <laughs> he was a last-minute merger in the line of getting out of BJ's, so I know that. I called. I've called the whole attitude. A last. Wait a minute. A last-minute merger. All right, those getting, of you that go uh, into the in are you BJ's talking or the something like that. Line? Uh, all of us have to kind of merge. What, did he cut his card in as front we're of yours? leaving oh, BJ's thought... or a place like that, because we're all we have. Are the, you talking the about that? The parking lot or inside at the register, you I, fucking bitch. I think the parking lot. Before it was the register. Was it? Before. Oh, uh, before, yeah. What? 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 I don't know what she's talking about merging into. The line for the register with your cart or the fucking parking lot with a car. I actually did hear this story. <laughs> oh, did you, oh, you did, Jimmy? Jimmy? What happened was there yeah. was a last minute merger uh -huh. and she got stuck at the light. And he said, and you know, and you know how I am, Ted. I have to take a vegetable juice shit in the afternoon. <laughs> she drinks a giant beet juice, and uh, she shat, she shat in the car. <laughs> and, she, and she says that I had to pull over into the shoulder and aim my asshole over the ashtray. <laughs> She's trying to hold it back like the elevated doors in The Shining. Yeah. <laughs> Big red, red beady shit. <laughs> I had I was I had my fucking I had my stomach up in the air and I was trying to straighten out my back <laughs> so I didn't make a duty on my seat. <laughs> I had on those tan slacks that you hate. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ones that show your camel toe. That's right, Ted. <laughs> Stupid All right, Ted. I guess we don't have to play uh, the rest of the I'm story. I'm just guessing. Yeah. I could be wrong. Oh, I yeah. thought that was the real... Whew. All right. Wait a minute. A last minute merger. All right. Those getting, of you that go uh, into the in are you BJ's talking or something the like that. Checkout line. Uh, all of us have to kind of merge. What did he cut his card in front of yours? As we're leaving BJ's or a place like that, because we're all we have the check. Where the security check guy checks your receipt. Yes. Yes. Is that what you're talking right. about? Yes. And okay. So I, I'm not a I'm not a lally gagger. I always oh. obey all so grocery cart rules because I'm all about <laughs> people that are really straight. really slow. You're in BJ's. You're in leaving BJ's. the I'm store. I'm leaving BJ's and I cart full of. Stuff. And I'm uh, yeah, and I'm not walking slow or fast. I'm just merging into the line and you're as I do. Waiting for the security guy to check your receipt before you go through. Well, the door. I'm headed toward there. My wheels are rolling <laughs> still, and all of a sudden I hear this loud wheel behind me, and I turn, and there's a gentleman getting in front of me. A last, we call that a cart last minute merger. So I stop no, we don't. because you know, I don't God think I've forbid, ever seen that happen. God forbid, what, he, he gets there two hurry? seconds before I do, and he must have seen my look, and he went. Oh, go ahead. And I went, oh, no, no, no. You go ahead. Uh-huh. So then I follow him out because he, you know, got <laughs> there two seconds I know what before happens. I did. This, oh. this, 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 oh. That doesn't end well. What happens was when they're getting into their cars, he takes his cart and he rams it into her shins and he calls her a cunt. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> he, he gives her what they call the old cart shinning. <laughs> 
calls her a cunt. I love Jimmy's stories on the well, you know what it was? Uh, yeah. She was loading. She bought two boxes of tampons because yeah. she's a bleeder. That's <laughs> why <laughs> she goes to BJ's so she can buy cunt plugs by the fucking bulk. And uh, he rammed his card into his shins and just called her a cunt. And then she fell half into the trunk. <laughs> there really are people around here that don't like Jocktober, huh? Yeah, All right, come on. I have heard that. Wow, it just brings come on. so much to the show. Get stories from Jimmy. <sighs> they don't see it. Holy fuckaroni. Uh huh. So then I follow him out because he, you know, got there two seconds before I did. You he's, do know you're talking about a store. Right. So he's throwing everything in his truck. And what do I call it as I'm wheeling out to my car? I go, let me guess. He's not going to put his cart back in the cart return. Oh, shit. Because God forbid. He spends a minute wow. longer the wheeling the cart back. Guy no, that is windy. Windy Sunday. This guy so had a he whole throws attitude. the cart into the. This sounds like a Fez story. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh, it does, right? Oh, oh I don't know what no. you're talking what are you... about. Oh no! Oh boy! Fuck. She is suing. She's a busy rambling. Fuck, you know. Play some Katy Perry. Uh, yeah. Fuck you, you nosy body. You nosy body. <laughs> what? Now she's studying the guy. I guess I, I. Who gives a fuck where he leaves his cart? And do you think all this happened? And she was like, "Oh man, I gotta get on the air and talk about this tomorrow." This is. Uh, let me jot this down because yeah. I need to remember this story. I think I'm gonna save it for the seven thirty break. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's when the most people are listening. Ah, oh, you know, Ted, he did put the cart back, but do you think it's okay if I say he didn't? <laughs> Oh, it just adds a layer to the story. Yeah, yeah. I don't like being dishonest with the listener, but it sort of punches up the story. Yeah, do it, do it, you <laughs> fucking whore. <laughs> cart return, because God forbid he spends a minute wow. longer wheeling the cart so back. This guy had no, a whole... and it's windy, windy Sunday. No, you so had a he whole throws attitude. the cart into the woods or the field the there, woods. you know, because he he's threw a little. Cart into a he's field? a little. Wheels are over because you know he's leaving, so it doesn't matter if his cart actually hits another car because that's not his problem. He threw his cart into so the that, field, and I happen to be Just right in the him. same line as him, so I'm wheeling. Now I'm slow. Uh -huh. Right as I soon, as soon as I More puts slow. his truck in reverse, and mm -hmm. I'm right behind his truck, and I'm thinking, I'm trying to prove a, prove a point, but if he runs me over in his pickup truck, this is probably right. a point. So that you I... develop parking lot road rage because the guy <laughs> cut you off at the security checkpoint yes. at BJ's. Uh, I just called an attitude. I can say, <laughs> then he got on the highway. I know how this ends. Oh, 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 Jim, I Jim, Jim, yes, yes, Jim. And then he got out of the car. And he hit me in the spine with that same bat that Snake Plissken used and escaped from New York. <laughs> and he called me a busybody hole and said my radio show stinks. And then he fucking pushed me to the ground and I skinned my knees. Because <laughs> he hit the fucking fleshy part of my spine with a, fucking, a bat with a nail through it. <laughs> then he pushed me out of the car. <laughs> he started to touch me. He threw my PJ's oh. bag in the ground. He pushed his cart into my car. He pushed the cart. Oh, God, I hate her. Off at the security checkpoint yes. at BJ's. Uh, I just called an attitude. I can say, then he got on the highway. He was a last-minute merger. I can call the whole attitude just by seeing the way that he merged, last-minute merged at BJ's. So your blood pressure is peaking. <laughs> And you think I'm just saying that really you think he's the really, one that's got the problem. You're in such a hurry that why bother being nice to anyone else around you? So you started really? slamming into the back of his truck on the way <laughs> out my of cart. the parking lot. Was that was that not what I should have done? And he's the one with the problem. <laughs> you really might want to Cuz he's a little bit busier than all the you rest of us. You want to call a therapist. <laughs> I think you I think the one with issues may not no! necessarily be him. Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> OMG. OMG. Wow. Well, that clip didn't make me howl. That was no, no good. howling? No, no. Wow. It, it was not phenomenal. <laughs> I had nothing to repeat. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like they kind of just stopped talking. I don't know what happened there. No, they just uh, talked for you know, a long I, time. You know, oh. <laughs> I know what it is, actually. Oh, oh you do, Jimmy? Jim? Yeah, he actually has a sign he holds up that says, Shut up, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be? <laughs> uh.
Oh, man. Jesus, Jimmy. Uh, and you notice that uh, she just completely plows over any questions that he asks? Yes. Of course she does. Well, she was asking questions. That's what stupid Jenny Hutt was doing yesterday. Nothing of interest had been said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No end to the story had been sent. <laughs> God, 500 listeners go into the water. <laughs> 500 listeners turn off the radio. <laughs> Do you bring every story that happens to you uh, in between shows to the program? No. Yeah, I don't either. You every try story. to keep them. Amy, you might want to fucking decide yeah. which stories to bring to the show. Somewhat Not interesting, compelling. Some If that's the best thing that happens. Demon to you. quality. Hey, can we uh, <laughs> play a little bit of the Slumber Party video before we take yes. a break before our please. big guest? Yes, why not, right? Oh, please. I'm calling this Bonus Jocktober. Bonus Jocktober. Bonus Jocktober. Right, we found out that, uh, I guess, Amy from Ted and Amy in Syracuse, yeah. she does this uh, Slumber Party every year for the women so they can escape their lives for, oh, a, good. for a day. Watch this be the hottest video ever. Oh. Amy's dipping her feet in some girl's mouth and another one's <laughs> strap on fucking her friend. They're calling it Soccer Moms Gone Wild. Oh, wow. Yeah, Whoa. and they're all uh, at this big event. They got their jammies on. So what, they uh, take over a convention room or something in a dumb hotel? I guess. <laughs> I yeah. hate I hate, yeah. I hate. hate when they do that stupid art thing they do, where What's they that? all put different colored paint on their vaginas, and they squat on paper and make slugs. <laughs> <laughs> and they sell it for charity. Yeah. They go to, to the hotel where they got one of those big glass block walls, <laughs> and stick their guns against it like <laughs> sucker fish. <laughs> they say, let's play clean the algae off the tank. <laughs> or then they read like news stories and, and they and they and they read what the criminal has done and they all play guess the ethnicity. <laughs> it's like a really horrible racist <laughs> slip. <laughs> That cop that punched that girl in Philly. There's one fact they're leaving out. Oh, yes, exactly. Yeah. So what... Uh, yeah. well, we got to get the slumber party. Yes, yeah, of course. Oh, please. Amy demands it. Yeah. Uh, they sing, I... They're all dancing in big glasses. And they got those giant glasses, which are always funny. Amy's, Amy's slumber, slumber party. party. Soccer Bob's got one. Look at these frumps. <laughs> yeah. They're all frumps. Oh. Oh, this is the sixth annual Amy's Slumber Party. Uh, oh, we started look at off that with three hundred. We're now at eight hundred for two oh. nights in a row. So sixteen hundred women, and it still sells out in a day. It's amazing. Women spend so much time taking care of other people that you know they're taking care of their kids and their families and making Could sure. Could you pause right there? This is so calculated. She yes. obviously isn't wearing makeup because we're all just letting our hair down. Just for a girls night. hanging just out. Girls. We, we, we don't, don't have to press each other. Or the high heels. We don't have to press Come each other. Come with your PJs or your or your or your uh, sweatpants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, boy. she has hair like Ed Harris. It <laughs> really is a balding <laughs> <Really> lady. Is. <laughs> 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 This is the one night where they can just focus on themselves and yeah. for themselves and be with their friends. Oh, they got Everybody bunny stays ears the one night, so they Fatsos. don't have to worry about designating a driver. Cowboy they can just hats. have fun and just worry about themselves oh, for one night. Big so beds, they're all it's laying down the bed. Yeah. Bed. They're all dancing, having fun. What a look at these fat fucking pigs! I would hate to be there. Uh, you wouldn't enjoy that? Uh, no. Oh, oh yuck! They're all having a ball, dancing in a fucking circle. They're doing conga lines. A big fat cell with a mullet. Dancing, drinking champagne. Oh, this is horrid. And the husbands know that they're all night, so they're just fucking the neighbor. Exactly. Every one of them is going to have chlamydia or herpes in their wives from home. And they're doing oh, everything. caricature they drawers. There's shopping. There's over 100 oh. booths of shoes oh. and jewelry. They get to get their hair done. They get to get their eyebrows waxed. Just a night of pampering and, and fun and for the ladies. And yeah. And that's all women need. We'll all get a the same what bed. The fuck? Get up and take the kids to soccer the next day. But just this one night, they're just focused on themselves, and I just think that that's really Cool. It's not cool. Oh no. It's the big dance, a bunch of ladies. They're singing ACDC. Yeah. Oh, exactly. oh god. There that is a room full of fucking threes and fours. Yeah. <laughs> How many do you think Dyke out by the end of the night? Every one of them. They're all drinking. Oh, oh there's a band. Karaoke. Oh. I wish they, I wish they were having this in the fucking same place Great White had their concert. 
Uh, that's a Munchausen syndrome by proxy song for the baby. You shook me all night long. Gathering with women Shake the baby. is in itself just so fun. You think about what would guys do yes, that would be Susan something Smith, similar. And it would Andrew have to Yates be an activity. On how to get rid of those little annoyances and, and have fun. Or watch a game. Whereas women create an event. I mean, this is an event Sympathy for the ladies that only fill out half the shirt. And do themselves. That's an event by itself. Jesus. <laughs> The diva. Oh my god, they let the blacks uh, participate. They're all right. wearing funny teeth oh, and wigs. A, like a costume thing. Uh, Grandma, Grandma gone, gone wild. wild. Everything lady. is gone wild. I'm from Auburn, New York. She's not this going is my wild. first time here. Oh, really? Oh, I'm having a great Stalker time. Stalker Patty in 20 my years. Chest hurts. <laughs> Fucking a terrible band with Amy's slumber oh, party shirts yes. and a bunch of cows dancing. <laughs> you should hold us in a fucking barn. They're all standing in hay. <laughs> Just shitting without like moving. Like the husbands feel good about it. They're not oh. out crousing the or at bars. You know, they don't have to worry about the opposite sex. For God's sakes, we all wear night shirts. We're not really worried about looking glamorous. We're just here to have fun and just to hang with our friends. And so I think that's a good way. The husbands feel comfortable about oh. letting their wives go away for a night as well. So all in all, it's a win-win. Oh. I don't know. That's how we started it, and we're going to continue it. I, I can't imagine. I think there would be a mutiny if I stopped doing this. So. <laughs> It's terrible. Wow. That looks like a nightmare. Yeah. That just looks like a nightmare. Yeah. Do you think they're licking uh, whipped cream off dicks later in the night? Mm, yeah, they probably bring in those, like those fucking dancers. It's like, whoa, there's a crowd and uh, they're being a little loud. That must be why the cops are showing up. <laughs> right. You know, the cops with the big mustaches and fucking... <laughs> what is he doing? I don't recognize that uniform. <laughs> why is... Uh... He's got his, his cuffs out. He's cuffing one of the girls. Whoa, he just ripped his pants off. He's Wait wearing a minute. shorts. He's got a giant rod. Wow. Oh, Let's dance. So there you have it for today's Jocktober. Tonight. What do we got for tomorrow, Sam? Do you know? I know. But nobody will know. How about tomorrow. a little hint? A little tease? What part of the country? Well, we're going to stay in the U.S. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of show? We'll probably lean more top 40. Mm -hmm. Kind of morning zoo-ish? Yeah. I like that. Is it I'm, Scott and Todd time? Is there a hole? I don't know. I mean, there, there's oh, a, oh. a young lady who helps the show along, oh, but I don't know right. if you want to insult Very her. Good. Does oh. she keep the guys in line? A little bit. I don't know if you want Scott and Todd yet. It's so early in the month. It's like having yeah. all your Christmas presents at once. I don't know why I'm going to lose my life. I mean, we were doing a radio for a long time. I mean, that old fat nagel kid used to roll. That was made fun of me on radio. Eric, they're talking about you. You know, it's uh, people with mergers. They merge, but they don't merge any lead or carts all around. Scott Shannon's doing the merging bit. I gotcha. I don't know what's uh, why I merge and push the cart. Uh, well, who's going to use the cart? Oh, oh. You know? Oh. Uh, and then, and then a uh, song parody. We're merging, 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 merging. <laughs> we're merging. It doesn't even make sense. No. Oh. Yeah. Shoehorning in the words. Because then we're going to merge. All right, we got Oh, us. yeah. <laughs> I love when Scott Shannon talks about that little fat Nagel kid. <laughs> oh, is that great? Yeah. Well, I've been loyal for a long time. Well, well fat kid, you look up for it. I was just a big, fat, silly adult. He doesn't even shave. His arm gets tired going around his big neck. <laughs> yeah, he's from, the, from Florida originally. Yeah. He's right here. Pretty, pretty cool, cool huh? <laughs> <laughs> he used to drive a boat to school. 
He did used to drive a boat to school. Ah, how that cool is, is that? Cool. That's, that's yes. pretty fucking pretty cool. High huh? school in a boat? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Hair cut like a special Olympics participant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a green Aspen wagon. Yeah? Yeah. It's not a boat. And the back doors wouldn't close. Just so devil make hair oh, in a boat. a boat. Speed fucking ball. just squirting sun in in his hair and yeah. just fucking flying to school. Exactly. Mirrored shades. Oh, yeah. Treats at his feet. Oh. Maybe a, a nice sun kiss and a five alive. All oh, kinds amazing. of Jolly Ranchers all around the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. As Kissing many the, as you could eat. Kenny Kissing girls got on. Oh, yeah. They didn't. Push the, they didn't. No. Sierra Mist. I'll read some, <laughs> some WWE fan fiction. <laughs> Nagel wrote. I fucking love wrestling. <laughs> you know, I love wrestling. Bob Backlund does the knee walk. Go to our website and see some of the Lego creations that Nagel's made. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he should make himself a, a Lego stool and a Lego rope. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for the people out there trying to help you with Jocktober, what's your yeah. email there, Sam? Just Twitter, not Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Anything. Anything you think might fly for Jocktober. You can suggest a show. Maybe there's a weird bit. That you, you think is perfect for it? I generally, Maybe some of those uh, radio station slogans. Yeah. Think out of the box on this for us. I mean, I don't, anything. And don't be afraid, because I generally know within a minute of listening to a show whether or not it's October. It's not necessarily just a show. I mean, right. you know, if it's a weird bit, a weird song parody, just anything that's, uh, you know, that would fit the October thing, send it to Sam, please. Just tweet, not Sam. That was a clever way to get a uh, Twitter plug there, sir. Well, I'm not going to go through an email box. I can just favorite tweets. Oh, Ted Namey have a Twitter. I just hope no one's been hassling that. Leave the Twitter alone. What's their Twitter? Just Ted Namey, but I mean, just leave it Oh, alone. let's check. Let's check their mentions. Real quick, oh, yeah. Well, I hope no one's bothering I'm sure, bothering I'm sure they're yeah, yeah. cool. Don't, I didn't even know until I just saw uh, them. Their, them. Their yeah. time is over. They they made it through Jack Cobra. Uh, uh, yeah, congrats. We, we will forget about them tomorrow. Unfortunately, this show replays twice. Oh. Oh. Oops. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, okay. So there's just them just being oh, okay. fine and everything. How many What's followers? This? How many followers? Followers they got. Uh, 1181. Have, yeah. Oh. Not bad. Well, not good. Well. <laughs> uh, I just do at Ted and Amy. And cl- don't touch me. <laughs> don't oh. Thanks for Stop it. Edgar's Edgar. poking. Uh, Sam. Um, Very uncomfortable. We work in a place where you have to say, don't touch don't me a lot. Don't touch me. Why? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Sam? Oh, no. Barry <laughs> Bullshitter wrote something. <laughs> yeah, Barry Bullshitter. What happened? He left a, a twit pic well, of a girl. We all appreciated a good twit pic. Uh, so a what, 14 I, inch or 15 inch black cock on her shoulder. Yeah, and she's topless, and just the, the 15 inch penis is draped over her shoulder. That's terrible. It might be like one you of you wear a fire listeners. hose if you're know. fighting a fire. And that's mean. They said they should change the name of the slumber party to Pigs in a Blanket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ted and Amy just made me shit so hard. I feel like I was ass raped from the inside out. Oh, wow. I hope you cool. end today's show. <laughs> Why <laughs> our Bud Dwyer ends a press conference? Ah, uh, he killed himself. <laughs> These guys are fucking brutal. Just <laughs> These bad, guys are brutal. nasty oh, people. Oh my god. It says this is a picture that says, "Is this Amy?" And and it's a picture of a girl smoking, but yeah. it's like a warning ad. This could happen <laughs> yes. to you if you smoke too much. Yeah. And she's got just terrible teeth and gums, oh, and her eye is gone. Sure, not good. Oh, so not bad. Good. Um, mm. that's, uh, that's uh, not, this isn't oh. constructive. <laughs> Look at this. Like, Ted and Amy might only read the first part of this. They say, uh, at Ted and Amy, thanks for making my morning better, oh. period. And the next sentence is, not with your actual radio <laughs> show. It's horrible. But with joining us for Jocktober. Oh, David see, Thompson writes, have a nice day, forehead duo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rob's bulbous, uv- bulbous uvula oh, just yeah. wrote the word <laughs> cunt, cunt over, and over, over and over and over. That's not even t- uh, not not nice. I, uh, oh, I don't. Oh, no. oh wow. Mm. Ted Sheckler, I guess Ted Sheckler would know. He wrote that Amy's vagina smells worse than the dumpster behind Popeye's. <laughs> oh. That's a terrible smelling dumpster. That's, uh, uh, <laughs> you need your hats removed by a battering ram. What type of suggestion <laughs> is that? <laughs> Come on. No. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, Jay from Huntington. Oh. It's Pink Socktober, Ted and Amy. <laughs> and that's no malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> Retweet for the hashtag prolapsed anus. <laughs> This isn't right. I, this can't be their fans. <laughs> no. You sure? I don't know. Uh, I mean, they just keep going and going. Um, at Ted and Amy, remember when you had a good morning radio show? <laughs> Neither does anyone else. Welcome to Jocktober. Um, who preps the bull on your morning drive? Ted and Amy in the morning. 
This uh, must be such a surprise because it comes out of nowhere. You're just doing your show <laughs> like for ooh, years and years ooh, and ooh, years. Oh, I must have said something good. I got a bunch of mentions <laughs> on like, my why, Twitter. Why do we have a bunch of mentions? Yeah. Oh. And why is our Facebook page? Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. And out of nowhere. You have to deal with this horse shit. Oh, it's terrible. Hmm. Right. You have like, uh, like one tweet. It goes, I can't wait to hear Your Body by Christina Aguilera on Ted Namey. And then the next tweet above that is, hang on, kitties, here it comes. And then the tweets start. We better break. Oh, look at this. It says, uh, Terry Clifford says hi. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, there's Terry Clifford. Hey, Terry Clifford. Terry Clifford. (laughs) Oh, yeah, let's break. I got to piss. Yeah, okay. I can't wait for Terry Clifford Day. Oh, yeah.